Take our first string, connect it up to our quick connection. And because our panels are in our extra low voltage range, below 120 volts, we're only expecting 89 volts, it is quite safe to do our checks. Our voltmeter, select DC voltage, check our polarity, our polarity is correct and at the moment we're looking at an open circuit voltage of 81 volts. Once again checking back to our little inverter knowing between 54 and 100 this is well within our inverter's capabilities of dealing with. Switching it on, taking my tong tester, switch my tong tester onto, onto DC amps, making sure that I've zeroed the, the DC tong tester so that I can get true readings. I read my current telling me that I've got 7.7 .7 amps short circuit in one direction, I've got 7.7 .7 in the other direction to check, yes, that is a little bit more than my short circuit current here, which is telling me that it should only be 5.5. That immediately tells me that because of the cloudy day that we are working at, I have an over irradiance of nearly 20%. That is telling me that my irradiance value is 1,200 watts per square meter instead of 1,000 watts per square meter. So I switch it off. And I disconnect it. These little plugs are offload disconnection devices. The fact that I'm capable of switching, of opening the circuit, means that I can plug them in and out quite comfortably. I will do that three more times, and that will give me the start of my warranty profile that I will have checked each one of the strings individually open circuit voltage and short circuit current.